The transformation in the burn zones, neighborhoods rising from the ashes. A first look at the major progress in wine country. We learned today almost all of the charred lots have been cleared of their debris. It's a huge milestone in the effort to rebuild in the North Bay. KPIX 5's Emily Turner is live in Santa Rosa's Coffee Park neighborhood, which is now a construction zone. Emily? Yeah, there are various stages of rebuild here in Coffee Park. Some lots have simply been cleared. Others have begun to lay a foundation for a new home. While further down the street, there are homes who within months could be moving ready. The numbers of rebuilds are small, but it is a substantial step forward. This is the sound of recovery. Every nail, every board, every square foot is a testament to the hardship Brian Bouchon and his neighbors have faced. We don't go a day without thinking about it. But now they're finally turning a corner. Tomorrow, his foundation will be poured. By fall, his family should be able to move in. And when you see this, does that make you happy? Kind of happy, but still a little sad. Why? Because the house is not fully built, built yet. House by house, lot by lot, their Coffee Park neighborhood becomes a much different scene than this one back in October. There's a lot that's gone on the last seven months. Um, and it's incredible to see where we were in October and where we are here in May. Assistant Fire Marshal Paul Lowenthal also yeah, lost yeah, his house in the fire and fire just like broke ground on a new one. Considering the fire roared through just seven months ago, the rebuilding numbers are impressive. Out of the more than 2,100 lots cleared, 164 are in the permit review process. 80 more have made it into the pre-construction phase, and 117 are already under construction. The city's really been good. Santa Rosa created a permit center specifically for the burned areas, paying $9 million to contract with an outside firm to expedite the rebuilding process. Looking out across Coffee Park, it seems to be working. Being able to walk my son back to school the five minutes instead of driving the 30 minutes will be an awesome thing. Soon, buddy. Now, of course, this rebuild process does not come without hurdles or frustrations, as you can imagine. Now, most of the people we spoke to today say that dealing with the city has been pretty much seamless. The issues they have, the challenges that they're facing, have to do with finding people to get them to that process, whether it's an architect or an engineer or even a contractor who feels like they have the labor available to build them a home. They say that's where they're finding those challenges. Reporting live in Coffee Park in Santa Rosa, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.